Alrighty, welcome back to another vlog. Um, this is going to be my first ride in the new Cask Protone. Well, it's not new, but the first time I've ever ridden one. So I'm going out for a two hour ride at the moment. Um, got the old chapter two ready to go. Anyway, two hour um, VO2 max effort. So the first hour just like stepping into, I think over 200 watts for the first hour. And the route that I go, it heads up like a small climb and then I'll first start my first three minute effort up the climb and then three minutes off on the descent, then hook a right. And I think it's about 35 kilometers and I do all my efforts down there all the way back into town so that's the plan for this afternoon yeah it's uh, really cold in New Zealand at the moment I don't know we had like a real hot patch when we were at the first dynamo and like we were wearing I was wearing like thin under under vest and then just short, shorts and jersey but now it's uh, gotten real cold we have like a hailstorm yesterday it got down to like minus two degrees last night so I'm testing out the old um the jacket the Koblenz jacket that we've had this actually feels pretty bloody good so hopefully it's gonna keep me warm today for my ride so another quick story that I completely forgot to tell I was out for a ride in Martinborough the other day I think it was last Wednesday and um, I had a little bit of problems with my GoPro so I was riding down this little road hits a bit, bit of pothole and I usually ride with it and I like film myself a little bit for like slow-mo stuff anyway and I completely lost hold of it through this pothole and it rolled on the road, through the grass, and then into a swamp. So here's a little bit of clips from that. All right, I was literally just riding down this hill when I, and I had my GoPro in my hand. I hit this shit little piece of road and then I like dropped it and it rolled into the swamp. And I've just been using that cone to try and dig around in here, but I'm pretty sure it's fucking gone. And that was the only GoPro I had. So this is, this is a pretty sad day. I cannot find it anywhere. But yeah, anyway, I sorted myself out. I, it's really hard to find these little sessions at the moment because um, they don't make them anymore. But these are easily, well, I think, the best like cameras to have on the bike for like GoPro footage because they're just so small. I can get them right on the front or right on the back of the seat because I have uh, this just sitting right at the back of my seat for my time trial bike and it's just perfect. So I found myself another one of these, a few extras. I'm probably going to have to buy myself another one as well. So then I've got two in case this happens again. Not a good sound. There she is. Ah, oh, bugger. All right, we've got a rear wheel puncture on the main road, so I'm just heading into a little side road here to see, see if we can change it. Literally, this is the second time I've got a puncture on that road. There must just be glass all over it or something. Alrighty, I have a spare tube. I never carry tire levers on me, so I'm gonna have to try and do this by hand. Oh, yeah, we got it. The worst part of any puncture of mine, I have, a, I may have the smallest mini pump in the entire world, so it takes about 200 pumps of this to get it up to like 80 psi. That, uh, that little uh, puncture kind of ruined my ride there. So I got kind of cold, so I've come home. That was just an easy 45 minutes now. I did a little bit of camera work, you know, just stopping, putting the camera down, riding past it, coming back, picking the camera up. That bit of that jazz. Um, but yeah, 45 minutes just spin out the legs, and then I think I'll do my VO2 max efforts on the trainer today because it's just getting colder and colder and colder. I don't know what's going on in New Zealand at the moment, but the weather is terrible here in Marston, and I just want the sun to come back.
then you can go there. All right, I just had a shower and finished my um, wind trainer session. So I did an hour, but I was meant to do 350 plus watts for those three minute um, intervals, three after three after three. But I only held it for the first two. My legs are not feeling very good today. I don't know what's going on, but hopefully the legs will come right for tomorrow. So tomorrow I got an hour, hour and a half recovery ride, and then Saturday, Sunday, I'm probably gonna do four hours each day, and maybe go up and see Maddie on Sunday and go for a ride with him. Um, yeah, but while I was on the trainer, I've worked out that I really want to like get into the Zwift thing properly and because I think it will motivate me more to train in the afternoons and after work and stuff. So I want to invest in a um, proper smart trainer like so I can do it properly because I've been trying to do it with my with my power meter and it just isn't working very well. Just the connection constantly drops out and then like, I'm riding along in a race or something. I did like one Zwift race and I just like kept going to like, I was like 500 watts and then zero and then just like stop and I was like getting kind of annoyed. I was like, nah, I need to do it properly if I want to do it. So I've been looking on Evolution Cycles here, which is just like an online bike store in New Zealand and they've got the Tax Fluid S Interactive Direct Drive Smart Trainer for just over a thousand dollars, which is pretty good and kind of in my price range. Well, they've got like the model up for fourteen hundred dollars, but I think, and then obviously the best one, which is like the Wahoo Kicker one, which I think you like plug into the wall and stuff, which is what all the all the big Zwifters use. I I don't know if I want to spend that much money, but I'd be interested in what you guys use. So if you guys do Zwift and like do the like suffer fest and stuff properly, and you're using trainers and they've worked properly, can you guys let me know in the um, comments below what you use and what your recommendations for that would be? Uh, yeah, that is going to be the end of today's video. I'm sorry it's just a short one, but I will be making two big videos with the rides on the weekend. I've just been working this week. So yeah, if you have not subscribed already, make sure you do that and like this video. Good work, mate. Jeepers. Show me how you do. Tell me how you feel. Cause you say you're living fine all the time But I know what's real And it's all the same Tell me how you 